The week two of the Coach's Corner. I'm Paul Morlock, and I'm here with men's soccer coaches Adam Boyer and Darren Yeagle. Guys, you just finished your final week of preseason, which include exhibitions against Bellarmine University and Center College. Talk to us about the two games and give us some feedback about how the team performed. Yeah, these, uh, these were two great games for us coming out of the Brescia match. And if you look at both Bellarmine and Center, uh, you're talking about two teams that are very talented. Um, they're going to have a lot of athletic players, a lot of speed, uh, some physicality. Um, and they were really two good tests for us coming into the regular season this week. Uh, I'm looking at the game on Friday night against Bellarmine. Uh, I thought it took us a, a, a half to really adjust and settle into the game. Um, I thought the guys' nerves showed in the first 45 minutes. Uh, but coming out of halftime, uh, I thought the energy was much better. I thought the work rate was much better. Um, and it's a game we're on. We really grew in confidence and uh, settled into the game nicely, started to create some good chances. And um, a ton of credit for Dino for that run late in the game um, to set up the PK for Joey to put away. And um, it was a great environment and, and a nice result for us to get coming out of that, that night game. Yeah, and talking about the center game, um, our guys were very excited to play a team like Center. You know, it's very easy, um, you know, to get up for a game like this when you're playing against a high-level opponent like Center. Uh, I thought the guys came out in the first half with, with a lot of intensity um, and started off a lot quicker than what they did in, against Bellerin. Um, with the first half, you know, we, we had some great moments in our attacking third. Moving off the ball was good, and we, we put one in the back of the net with, with Dino again stepping up. Um, which was big going into halftime with the one nothing lead. Uh, in the second half, I thought we, we still played good. Um, center found a way to, to even it up 1-1, and then I think you know it's good for us to face a little bit of adversity in, in preseason, um, which will help us out in the long run in the regular season. So I know that the boys, I think we couldn't be more pleased with the, the three games of exhibition, and we're really looking forward to the regular season. And captains are named for the 2016 fall season. Abdali, Abdali, Joey Lesher, Austin Lanham, and Sergio Vincini. Tell us about these four and the leadership they bring to the group. Yeah, a big congrats to those four players on being named captains for the 2016 season. And um, If you look at the group, you've obviously got two seniors and two juniors in there. Um, and the nice thing about these four is, is that they all bring their own qualities and traits uh, to the leadership position of captain. And, um, I think if you look at Joey and Austin, they're a little bit more of the communicators, the connectors. Um, if you look at Abdul and Sergio, uh, they're more of a lead by example and, and set the tone with, with their positivity and energy in every training session. Um, we're, we're excited to have those four uh, as our captains for this season, and uh, we'll certainly be relying on them uh, for their leadership and guidance uh, throughout the next four months. Looking ahead, you have two games this coming weekend to kick off the, the regular season. On Thursday, you take on Austin College, and on Friday, you take on Georgetown College. Tell us what you're going to expect from the opening weekend. It, it, it's going to be a great weekend, and uh, we'll travel to Danville, Kentucky, and, and play these two games at Center College, uh, which is a familiar venue for our guys. We typically play at least two games there a season. Um, and, and this is an alumni classic at Center. All four of the head coaches are Center College alums. Uh, Austin College head coach Mark Hudson is actually my former assistant coach from when I played at Center. Um, and if you look at Derek Willis at Georgetown College, he's, he's become a close friend and um, is our new graduate assistant, Trent Boyd's uh, former coach at, at Georgetown. And, um, we're looking forward to the weekend. Uh, we know that these two teams are going to be talented. That, that they're going to come in hungry and excited for, for the first two games of the year. And, um, you know, we know that it's always a, a great venue, a great surface, a great playing environment down at center, um, and are excited to see the boys play. Yeah, and looking uh, forward to our, our first two regular season games, you know, I think the good thing is all, all teams are undefeated. Um, you know, we're going to go into every game expecting to win. Um, and I think the, real, the boys have really prepared for, for this opening weekend. You know, we know the, the first game, the, their nerves are going to get a little bit of the best of them, um, but they'll settle in and play the way that we've been playing all preseason. Um, you know, we couldn't be more excited for, for this season uh, with our depth and leadership that we have, and we're looking forward to, to a great season um, and, and hopefully bringing home a conference title. Well, thank you, Coach Porter and Coach Jagel. Stay tuned next week for another edition of the Coach's Corner.